is a long time in politics, and it would seem so if we were to look at Maharashtra's politics. Exactly a year ago, Udhav Thakre was the chief minister of the state and the powerful chief of the Shiva Sena. Today, his own party colleague, turned rival, Eknath Shinde occupies the top post in Maharashtra. And he will continue to do so, says the Supreme Court. Let's take you through the Supreme Court verdict in the Sena versus Sena case. The decision has huge political repercussions and implications as well. One, and this is what the Supreme Court said, this is a big relief for the Shinde Fadnavis government. Eknath Shinde will remain the chief minister. Two, the top court said it cannot reinstate Uddhav Thakre because he had chosen to resign instead of facing a floor test in the assembly. Three, the court strongly censured the then Maharashtra governor, Bhagat Singh Koshyari. The court said he had erred in concluding that Thakre had lost the support of the majority of MLAs. Four, the court also said that the speaker's decision to appoint Bharat Gogavale, a whip of the Eknath Shinde group, was absolutely wrong. In fact, the speaker's role is under further scrutiny now. That will be taken up by a larger seven-judge bench of the Supreme Court later. Listen in to what the then governor, Bhagat Singh Koshyari, had to say on this. Also listen in to what the Supreme Court has said. Supreme Court तो आप लोग का काम है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने सही कहा गलत कहा उस पर व्याख्या करना विवेचना करना ये एनालिसिस्ट का काम है ये मेरा काम नहीं है जिन लोगों ने मेरे पार्टी से सब कुछ लिया और गद्दारी की तो गद्दार लोगों गद्दार लोग मेरे ऊपर अविश्वास लाए और उसका मैं सामना करूं कैसे हो सकता है ये तो गद्दार लोग है आज तो कोर्ट ने कहा और मतलब कोर्ट ने गद्दार नहीं कह लेकिन ये सारी बातें है तो मतलब महाराष्ट्र में आप सरकारी नहीं है नैतिकता तो अभी जैसे मैंने नैतिकता का पालन किया तो अगर इस मुख्यमंत्री में जरा भी कोई नैतिकता होगी तो मुख्यमंत्री और उप मुख्यमंत्री ने इस्तीफा देना चाहिए जैसे मैंने दिया जिनके पास बहुमत नहीं था उन्होंने रिजाइन किया है और नैतिकता की बात अब करने से पहले अगर करते जब चुनाव हुआ था जब शिवसेना भाजपा की सरकार का जब गठित होने मतलब जो सार्वत्रिक चुनाव हुआ तब लोगों को मैंडेट ध्यान में रखते हुए अगर नैतिकता की बात करते तो शिवसेना बीजेपी का सरकार स्थापित हो जाता था लेकिन सिर्फ और सिर्फ सत्ता पाने के लिए कुर्सी पाने के लिए जब निर्णय लिया ये जनता ने देखा है महाराष्ट्र ने देखा है और उसी को सुधारने का काम हम लोगों ने किया है नैतिकता की बात करना उद्धव ठाकरे जी को शोभा नहीं देता मूल रूप से उद्धव जी आपने नैतिकता के आधार पर इस्तीफा नहीं दिया था आपने डर के कारण इस्तीफा दिया था क्योंकि आप जानते थे कि आपके लोग आपको छोड़कर चले गए हैं आप विश्वास मत प्रस्ताव नहीं जीतेंगे और एक प्रकार से हारने के बाद शर्मसार होना इसको टालने के लिए आपने इस्तीफा दिया था इसलिए नैतिकता की बात मत कीजिए Let me go straight across uh, to Webhav Purandare, who's a senior editor at Times of India, who's joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Webhav, thank you very much for your time here on Mirror Now. Uh, just put this Supreme Court order slash verdict in perspective for us. Yes, uh, many people can say it's a bit of a setback for Udhav Thakre uh, because Eknath Shinde continues to be uh, the chief minister of the state. Uh, but look at what the Supreme Court is saying about the role of the governor and the speaker. Ashri, I, th I think this uh, verdict is a major confidence booster for the Eknath Shinde and Devendra Padnavis government because the government has very safely sailed through. Uh, this was going to be a difficult case uh, and it is indeed a convoluted case with a lot of legislative procedures and constitutional issues involved. And uh, with Eknath Shinde claiming that his party was the real Shiv Sena and that they had not defected uh, nor had they merged with any other party, it became a still more complicated matter. But uh, what has emerged from the Supreme Court verdict today is that the BJP's uh, 
operation to topple the MVA government, uh, we can easily call it the, a BJP-led operation, uh, has been successful, in fact. And uh, they have really pulled it off. They have pulled, out a, pulled off a difficult operation, and even in terms of legality, uh, it has passed muster. Uh, now we can talk about uh, certain issues related to uh, procedure which the Supreme Court has referred to. For instance, uh, the act of the governor and the act of the speaker. Now, where the speaker's uh, act of recognizing the chief whip is concerned, uh, it is not a point in, in a point of fact, but a point of law that the Supreme Court has uh, mentioned. So there again, the Shinde government uh, gets past this difficulty that has arisen, and it's up to the speaker now to decide. Where the governor's decision is concerned, in fact, uh, uh, I personally am completely in disagreement with what the Supreme Court has said on the matter. Because the, go the governor, to be fair to him, mm. to, to be fair to Koshyari, who was admittedly a controversial uh, governor of Maharashtra, uh, he did absolutely the right thing by calling for a floor test. That was the fairest possible decision. And I completely disagree with the Supreme Court's finding here that the governor was not justified in asking for a floor test. In fact, uh, the governor is a representative of the people of the state. He has to satisfy himself when there is a constitutional crisis and when there is a question mark over the stability of government about whether the government enjoys confidence and a majority on the floor of the house. And Koshyari, by ordering a floor test, actually ensured the fairest possible exam for the Uddhav Thakri government. The biggest mistake that has emerged in all of this is that of Uddhav Thakre, and it all boils down, as we have realized mm -hmm. now, to Uddhav Thakre's resignation. Because had he not quit, uh, he uh, okay. Sharad Pawar has gone on record as saying that he did not consult any of the MVA partners before resigning ahead of the trust vote. He did not face the trust vote, realizing obviously that he was going to be defeated and he didn't have the numbers. But if we, he had stayed on and even faced defeat on the floor of the house, that decision might have been, well, the government, the Supreme Court is not categorical in saying that it would have reversed that decision, but its exact words are, we could have considered mm -hmm. that remedy if he had stayed on as chief minister. But the question does not arise because he, he actually gave okay. up without a fight. In, to, to put it in Sharad Pawar's words, Uddhav Thakre gave up without a fight. And he resigned without consulting any of the MVA allies. Not only Sharad Pawar, but Prithviraj Savan also said the same thing. So all these delicate constitutional issues could have been far better handled for the MVA and for all the MVA partners had Uddhav really stayed on and faced and okay. maybe faced defeat in the, on the floor of the house. Because their legal position has become much weaker. Okay. And now we'll have to look at where Uddhav Thakare stands politically. Because the future is going to be uh, a major challenge for Uddhav Thakare. He has to retain all the people who are still with him. Correct. He can, of course, try and play the martyr and mm. claim uh, political morality mm. on the basis of certain comments that the Supreme Court has made. But the question is, so where does political morality mm. begin? You know, Does it begin when you seek votes in the name of a pre poll alliance, or does it begin only when some of your members have defected and gone over to the other side? So that is also a question that can be best sure. answered uh, by the voter. And we'll have to see uh, who it is that uh, mm. succeeds in which side, that is, it is that succeeds in convincing the voter that it has polit political morality on, it, on its own side. Both sides can make uh, powerful claims in a sense, okay. because Shinde can say that uh, mm. there was a pre-poll alliance and it had won a decisive verdict and still you went and joined hands with the NCP and the Congress. And Uddhav Thakare can say that without merging with another party, you went ahead, claimed the Shiv Sena for your own and mm. formed a mm. government in alliance with the BJP after uh, after, in a sense, you know, uh, sure. uh, toppling the MVA government. But yeah, I'm absolutely categorical in mm. stating here yeah, so that uh, the, I do not see anything mm. that is wrong with the governor's decision. Uh, of course, we respect 
the Supreme well, Court, and okay. this is uh, with all the caveats the, the uh, speak, mentioned in place that the Supreme Court that you uh, have added, but the Supreme Court. Of, Back. The Supreme Court has raised concerns Weber, about, about about the role of the speaker, and there's a seven uh, you know seven judge bench that will now be looking into it. Uh, we'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you as always for putting stories from Maharashtra in perspective for us. Thank you very much.